Sales can be a lucrative line of work, whether in a salaried position or self-employed. However, before you invest time into a sales career, it's a good idea to analyze your strengths and weaknesses. It takes a specific personality type and skill set to successfully close sales time after time. Keep watching to find out whether you're cut out for sales or whether your strengths are better suited for management. Traits of salespeople. One of the primary tendencies that good salespeople have is that they innately like people and form relationships with ease. A big part of closing a sale is the relationship you build with your prospect. If there is rapport, smooth communication, and trust, you'll have a much easier time marketing products to a lead. You should also be a good listener, as you'll need to address your prospect's unique needs. Make sure you're perseverant, too. As a salesperson, one of the words you're going to hear a lot is no but you can't let that throw you off. Pair persistence with kindness and a unique desire to help, and you'll have a recipe for success. Less obvious traits. So we've addressed some of the more common traits you'll need, but what about others that you might not think about? Take social media expertise, for instance. Social media can be a pivotal part of your sales funnel, especially if you're self-employed. Social selling is becoming a powerhouse marketing method, one that you don't want to miss out on as a salesperson. If you already have a feel for how social media works, what sparks engagement, and how to tap into people's attention, this skill is likely to be a money earner for you in sales. Self-motivation is another undervalued trait that makes a world of difference. Successful salespeople are hustlers at heart. You'll also need to tap into the emotion behind your products or service. Storytellers can take the mundane and relate it in a way that makes people feel something. Traits of management. Teamwork is impossible if team members are at odds. However, some level of conflict is inevitable in almost all teams. If you diffuse tension, help people work through their differences, and honor conflicting perspectives, this will go a long way to enhancing the effectiveness of your team. On a similar note, you'll have to know how to inspire your team and bring out the best in them. If you can get groups of people to invest in an idea and feel that they're part of something bigger, you'll excel at management. Finally, you have to be comfortable saying no. Effective managers aren't pushovers. Managers who are easily manipulated quickly lose the respect of their teams and departments. With that, they can lose the ability to hold authority. So now that you know a bit more about traits, which position sounds better for you? Are you leaning towards sales, but not sure where to start? If so, you're in the perfect place. Contact us today to start generating strong leads. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.